I, I don't think I was meant to be a coach. I don't think so. Yes, I like know about speed skating, but like um, if you look at my house, there's nothing about sports. You know, I don't care much about sports. <laughs> there's a road bike that I only have because I want to make a connection. You know, I do what's necessary. But basically, I'm just like, um, dude, I'm basically a hippie, I think. I have all these like people that are in our team, that are national team. Okay, they all expect to be world champion, make the World Cup, skate really fast. It is sometimes a little bit like, oof, like, is that my responsibility to do that? And it is, you know? If you're scared, like, it's very real to be scared because you're more aware of stuff. If you're too comfortable with everything, you just roll through it. Yeah, I'm scared all the time, man. But I'm 6'7 and 102 kilos, so bring it on. But I'm scared. Oh, yeah. And I'm not afraid to say it, too, you know? I don't care. I'm When I'm scared, I'm sharp. When I'm comfortable, I'm lazy. You know, you break up with your girlfriend, change, oof, scary. Being alone, you know, scary. Um, being a leader of a group that needs to perform on the best of the world, like it's on you, Raymond. I work with high performance athletes, which is, um, they take a lot of energy, you know, and, and if you're in it like me, then like you can also get drained a little bit. I need to be drained, I need to get charged. I like the wave, um, the wave of life, basically, ups and downs, yeah. The art gives me like, an outlet, but I also like to look at it. I like to look at something that I like um, made, basically, that I produced or whatever. Like the same with my athletes. If I see my athletes skate, I'm like, ah, it's great, you know. We talk about what does high performance look like, what does it, what does it like taste like, what does it smell like, you know. Like we, we, we like we talk about that stuff. It needs to be obviously safe. It needs to be like, if we do high performance stuff, there are, needs to be clear boundaries. Remelt has always been this person that would pull me out of it, I think, to remind me, like, this is supposed to be fun. <laughs> You're supposed to be having fun every day. You're supposed to like this. And, you know, when we get into the real depths of training or the real depths of, like, competing when things aren't going super well, he'll remind me of that. That's what he does for me. And that's what he shows up and brings and, and makes sure that, you know, I show up with a smile and I compete happy. You go to your work, you do your stuff, it's fun, it's fun for everybody. And um, I think it's a little bit creatable. I think we can create that. Like, you know, sometimes you lose perspective on what you're doing because you're doing it every day. Sometimes I don't remember what high performance looks like because I'm in it every day. Like, you play this game every time, but sometimes you don't see it anymore. Take a step back, you know, overview. And I'm tall, I have a good bird's eye view. <laughs> well, I I did not know Remote much before, but like as a six foot seven guy with a beard, I was like, oh no, like he, he's gonna be like a tough guy. I'm a bit scared, and then su he's super supportive about that, about how we're here to, to 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 train hard and push ourselves to the limits. But outside of training or other training sessions, we get to like be humans and have fun and enjoy other things. It's important to be vulnerable yourself, you know, like or giving the example of how you would like this setting to be. Um, and I have no problem being vulnerable. Like, um, I don't want to get hurt, but I have no problem looking, like showing off my, my vulnerability. Because um, everybody has it, you know? And if you're not having it, then like, I don't trust you. You know, he's very good at splitting like the serious training, apart from like the fun after, you know, like, once we're on ice, it's very serious, very, like, get it done, do the work. If you're not doing it right, he'll let you know. But as soon as you're off ice, it is yeah, a blast. He always brings a lot of fun to the training. We need to be serious when we're training, but it's always nice to have a little bit of fun um, and laughing, and it just makes the whole training atmosphere really great. I think trust comes with boundaries, like acting the same way as I did yesterday, you know? It's very important that, that I am able to be just me. You know, because if I'm just me yesterday, I don't have to think about what I have to be tomorrow. I'm, just, I'm just, this is it. Last December felt like such a failure on the ice. And I remember Remelt, I actually think I drove him home after the World Cup. <laughs> and I think I just cried. And he was like, Izzy, it's speed skating. 
like it's sport. At the end of the day, you're gonna go home, your family's there, like you're gonna have a nice dinner, go to bed, like you're gonna get up the next day and you're gonna get to do speed skating again. Like you're, you're an athlete, but you're a person. You know, you're so much more than just sport. I really liked that. I mean, especially in that moment when you're, when you think who you are is, is really based on your results. He's like, no, happy, happy people and then happy athletes, and then, you know, then you go fast. And you have to have that equation. Otherwise, you know, what's the point? Or you're, you're not gonna get what you want out of it. When we're racing, you know, like it's, there is no love. When we're racing, there's respect, and there is just blood, sweat, and tears. That's, that's what happens when we race. But outside of that, in between, before the gun goes off and after you're over the finish line, there's, there's room for love. I think so. We love each other. Love rules, important, because love goes outside, you know. You receive it, but it goes outside, and it's important to give. That is basically what it is.